Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. Today, I'm finally gonna show you my iPad Pro desk setup. A lot of you have been asking about this, and this video is long overdue. Unlike my main desk, which is a pretty insane setup, my iPad Pro desk is quite the opposite. It's clean, it's minimal. I call it my Zen desk. So let's ramble. Hold up, place go up when I pull up. They all on me like I want some. All right, so I mentioned this is my Zen desk, and I will explain what that means to me. Most of the day, I'm sitting at my main desk full of equipment. It's got a big ass ultra wide monitor, all the gear I need for beefy Zoom calls, speakers, preamps, big docking station, and the list goes on. My daytime business requires me to multitask and have a lot of windows open at the same time. Now, of course, this is all pretty great, and I'm grateful that I'm in the position to have all that gear. But as you can imagine, working in such a way at a desk like that can get pretty overwhelming at times. Sometimes I just want to remove myself from that situation and seek out something more tranquil. For example, when I'm writing a script for a video like this one. And that's where my iPad desk comes in. All I have to do is get up out of my chair, turn around and sit down at this super clean, no clutter, total focus, minimal desk. <sighs> It's not facing a direct wall, so it feels more open and there's much fewer distractions. The desk itself is a shorter version of my main desk, meaning two Alex drawer units from Ikea and a walnut kitchen countertop also from Ikea. A little habit that I snuck in there, which is a little health bonus, is that I switched from my big racing chair to this small Ikea stool. It forces me to change my posture and it really has helped to get rid of some of my lower back pains. You can't really slouch on this thing, so you automatically adopt a healthier posture. And what makes that work even better is this amazing little iPad stand by Heckler Design, which puts the iPad at eye level. The design of the stand is super simple, but very effective. It has a heavy base, so it won't move around on your desk when you tap the screen. It has a very simple and efficient cable management system and it's got rubber and cork in all the right places so your iPad doesn't get damaged or scratched. I can highly recommend this thing and it has a dual function as well, which I will show you later. On the far end of my desk is this power cube, which kind of sticks to the desk with this rubber pad. It keeps it in place just fine, but you don't need to worry about adhesives. It has power outlets as well as USB-C ports. And of course, there is a US version as well. I just use this whenever I need to hook up something really quick. Connected to my iPad, I have three things. The Apple Magic Keyboard 2, the Magic Trackpad 2, and my little Logitech MX Anywhere 2S, which I use for travel as well. It's the little brother of the mouse I have on my main desk, which is the MX Master 3. This little mouse is great. You can use it with three devices and switch between them by simply pressing the button underneath. I love that iPad OS allows you to hook up this many Bluetooth accessories simultaneously now. For me, this is perfect because I like the precision and the speed of a regular mouse, but the trackpad is fantastic to use with the iPad because you can use all the gestures the iPad does too. And the keyboard is great because it uses the same mechanism as the iPad Magic Keyboard and also the keyboard on my main desk, so switching does not feel unnatural at all. All three items are resting comfortably on this beautiful desk pad by Grovemade. I really love this thing. It's made out of merino wool, which is very premium and doesn't fray. I like the leather at the end of it, which is nice as a finishing touch. Everything just screams premium. This is the medium sized mat and the dimensions are perfect for this desk. It's super wide so it can easily fit my three peripherals on it and still have plenty of space left, you know, for a cup of coffee or whatever but it's not very deep, which means I have space behind it to place my iPad stand and a couple of other things, like these two accessories, which are also by Grovemade. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did send me this when I told them about my plans to create a minimal desk setup. So thanks a lot to the team at Grovemade for sending me this, and I also love the very thoughtful handwritten card they sent me, which kind of fits with their products, you know, simple and thoughtful. Probably my favorite accessory is this MagSafe stand for my iPhone. It's made out of steel, vegetable tanned leather, and hand sanded hardwood. It's super heavy, which I think every phone stand should be, but the most brilliant thing about this is the design. You simply stick your own MagSafe charger into the stand, run the cable through the bottom of the base, and voila, it works flawlessly. And my phone looks like it's floating in midair. I love it. To my left, I keep these little cactuses from Ikea. 
Is it cactuses? Cacti? Whatever, they look nice. And this really lovely home scent by a company called Rituals. The scent is lotus flower and it's absorbed and diffused by these wooden sticks. It looks great and it smells amazing. To my right, I keep this pen and pen stand. I used to love Mad Men on Netflix and they all had these stylish desks with the classic fountain pen in the middle. This one by Grove Made is a modern take on that. The stand again is made of steel and wood. The base is nice and heavy and has a cork bottom so it won't scratch your desk. The pen itself has a bit of heft to it which I like and it feels good in the hand. Yeah, I said it. The reason I even keep a pen on this desk is journaling. I run my own business, I have a YouTube channel, I work out, I try to spend as much time as I can with my family. So to be able to do all of that efficiently, I have a productivity system in place. I use an app called Moleskine Journey on the iPad, which I use as a basis for all of this. If you're interested in that, click the card up here. Journaling is an important part of keeping my mind organized. I do it every morning and every evening, and while Moleskine Journey offers a journaling option as well, I find that journaling works best when it's done by hand. Funnily enough, this paper notebook is also by Moleskin. Most likely that's what their app was based on. I've been using these for many years. I don't know why, but there's something about the paper that just makes them a joy to write on. The off-white paper is super easy on the eyes. In the back, there's this flap where you can keep your scraps and your notes. And on the outside, your writings are protected by this hard cover. For me, this is the perfect way to start and finish a day. Earlier on, I mentioned that this iPad stand has a dual function and that is to use this portable HD external monitor by Andy Cine. This works really well if I wanna stay focused at this desk, but I need a little extra screen real estate. It has a number of connections available because of course you can use this with other things than just your iPad. I did a video on its little brother where we did a fun little experiment with it trying to use an iPhone as a computer. I'll put a card up here in case you wanna check that out. But for use with the iPad, it's super simple. You just use your USB-C to USB-C cable and you're good to go. The monitor runs off phantom power from the iPad. Certain apps are optimized for use with an external screen like Procreate, which allows you to zoom into your drawing while keeping the final result visible on the external screen. Or editing apps like iMovie and LumaFusion, which allow you to work on the iPad and see the video on the external monitor. When I do that, I like to use this little stand by 12 South. It's called the Compass Pro. You can place it in several angles, including this low one, which is great for creative work. When using non-optimized apps with the external screen, you'll see these black bars on the side, which is a pity because you're not using the full screen real estate. This is where today's sponsor, Shift Screen, is really useful. Shift Screen takes existing apps and makes sure they are displayed in their full screen glory. It has a number of apps that are optimized to use with it, including some of my favorites like Trello and Slack, which I use for work. It also has its own full screen browser. So if you were to open Chrome or Safari just like that, it would have the black bars. But with Shift Screen, you'll get the full desktop experience. You can either display the full screen of the app you're working with on this display and use the iPad as a trackpad or you can mirror the apps to the iPad full screen and you can even put four windows side by side simultaneously. It's a great app and it adds a whole new dimension to working with the iPad. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my desk. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you like this type of content, have a browse on my channel. And if you like what you see, a sub to my channel would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.